It's been a minute since I made a calculator video. That's because I did not really have anything new to talk about. As you can see here, I finally was able to find a 92 plus. Part of the reason why it took so long is because most of them that were on eBay were overpriced in my opinion. They were going for anywhere between $70 to all the way to uh, 150 brand new. Since I didn't need the calculator, but instead I just wanted it, I decided that uh, I would wait and I was able to pick this up or should I say I was able to uh, pick up a lot of three for $31 and change each so a little less than $32 and uh, since that was a uh, I found that to be a really good deal I just decided to purchase three of them so I spent a little less than uh, $105 after tax and everything the shipping was free okay so technically this cost me just $32 as you can see here and I have it right next to its uh, predecessor, the regular 92 that came out in 1995. The 92 Plus came out in uh, 19... In 1998, it came out around the same time as uh, the TI-98, the regular 98, I believe. So this is the second generation cast calculator of uh, Texas Instruments, this and the 92, okay? So this is the very first one. This is the very first cast from uh, Texas Instrument. This was a big deal at the time in 1995. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it. I haven't, I just got it, so I haven't even tested it. I didn't even put any battery in it. And, uh, but uh, before I even put any battery in it, let's go ahead and uh, do some quick comparison. The keys are essentially the same. You know, before starting this video, I was playing uh, around with the keys without even turning on, and uh, the key they have the same feeling. Okay, so the keys are now really improved, which is not a bad thing because I never really had any complaint with uh, the keys on or the keyboard on the regular 92. And uh, most people may not notice this, but one of uh, this P here, as you can see, if you press the diamond key and P you are going to be taken to a, a screen that is going to show you uh, the different units okay unfortunately you did not have that with the regular 992 okay there were a, it seemed like a texas instrument really learned uh, a lot with uh, the 92 and the 92 plus and the 92 are very very different calculator you know by uh, taking a, a quick look at them you you might think that they are essentially the same but uh, that is actually not true this one is a far far better calculator okay so let me go ahead and uh, put the battery in and uh, it's essentially uh, the same way uh, you would open uh, the back cover on a 92 okay so let's see so they both take a uh, for double A batteries and the 92 when it came out had uh, a module here which would go over here so you open this up and you'll be able to uh, take out the, mo the module or put it back but this one did not have that this one just has a flash embed embedded in it so yeah that is that the I really like the, the module idea because uh, the module would uh, was essentially like uh, the memory of your calculator you know if you if, if you were to take it out you can uh, put it in a different calculator and you are going to have all your stuff, you know, all your programs. Well, yeah, all your programs were, were going to be on there, all your functions. So, yeah, you could have just swap it, swap modules between two different 92, but unfortunately, you cannot do it over here. So, that has changed, which is a downgrade in my opinion, but it's a downgrade that I'm, that, that I'm willing to take all day over, you know, uh, uh, with uh, all the features this one comes with okay and by first glance i can also see that uh oh wow so this one is using uh different screws that i did not expect at all okay so this was uh, very easily taken apart with uh uh philip zeal screwdriver as you can see here but unfortunately this one is using uh, some special kind of tool but i probably should should be able to have that okay looks like uh, a torx dry now nah. i can't see that really well because of the reflection but uh yeah i'm probably gonna take this apart and uh, make a different video about that but uh yeah that's not uh that's not that, that's not a problem so let's see uh, how many screws this one has okay 
well you can just pause the video and count it for yourself but one thing to keep in mind is also this you're probably gonna have a uh probably the same amount of screws okay because if you take this back cover off you would have uh, additional screws over here as well okay and this is the back battery which is probably dead you know the back batteries on most of these calculators are dead anyways so since i have the back cover removed i'm gonna take the opportunity and i'll uh, put my batteries in it and uh, i have I've had this battery sitting around for a while. If it doesn't work, then uh, I think it could be the battery. Okay, so this one is working. This is the first boot. It's gonna take a while. The 92, I mean the the 89 does the same thing when it hasn't been uh, when it hasn't been on for a long time. It does the same thing. Okay, so but this is going to be fairly quick. Okay. And the condition on these things are really, really good. They are in uh, great condition. I really, I even want to say excellent condition for what it's worth because these things have been around for quite a long. Okay. So the <laughs> the very obvious uh, difference between the two is the display. You know, the display on this thing, I said it before, I kept saying in my videos, it was uh, really unfortunate for me to find out that the display on the 92 is almost unusable. If you are in a slightly, okay, yeah, this one goes here, actually. But I think it's uh, it would be good to know see if uh, the back cover would fit. That would be interesting to know, right? I don't want to force. I'm just gonna try to see if uh, gently. Ah, uh, okay. So seems like the back cover. It's not gonna fit yeah so this one was uh, easily <laughs> ah these companies man <laughs> okay so as you can see here well okay I think I was doing it wrong was that was it not okay so this one this back cover is for the regular 92 and uh, it should fit though because they are essentially the same design I don't know why you wouldn't. Let's go and try that again. Huh, this is very interesting. But visually, uh, uh, just by glancing at it, I do not see any difference, any difference between the two. The cutout are the same. And uh, yeah, the cutouts, everything lined up perfectly. I don't know why it wouldn't fit. That's uh, very interesting, I find. Uh, let's try it again, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Uh, I don't think I am but uh, okay so now you know that I'm gonna try this again behind the camera because I don't want this video to be super long but uh, I don't think it's gonna fit which is not a big deal but it really would have been nice if it would fit because that, that would mean that, that if you have uh, any 92 that's not working like I do I could just uh, swap the parts between the two okay so let me also put this back for the purpose of this video I haven't tested any other 92 plus this is the first one i'm testing and i just picked this up randomly randomly uh from the lot and it seems to be working just fine so yeah this the difference is uh, day and night okay the funny thing is that uh the display actually uh display on the 92 is more legible uh through my camera than uh, it is uh in real in real like in real life okay i, I have a really hard time to see the display on here but uh yeah there is that this one is uh, essentially the same as the 89 or the Voyage or even the 89 Titanium, okay? If I were to compare this uh, directly to a calculator, it would be uh, the Voyage 200 because the Voyage was the predecessor of this 92 Plus right here. They have essentially the same display. This display is really clean, really good looking, okay? So this is the one you want unless you are a collector let's say you are bored for some reason you you see this calculator online and you, and you want to pick it up just uh, just to play with it you know nothing serious you, you don't plan on keeping it forever then uh, if you see uh this then uh you really want to go for this one the 92 plus if you see the 92 i mean just look for the 92 plus if the uh, price difference is not that huge i highly suggest you go with this one because you are going to regret getting this one instead of this one right here unless you are a collector of course because you know i just want to have this in my collection you know it's good to have i can still use it but i can never use this for my uh for, for serious stuff like for programming for instance okay 
So one of the differences I pointed out was uh, the P here, the unit, you, don't, you didn't have the ability to do unit conversion on here and that was introduced over here as well. And you also didn't have the ability to have uh, flash apps, okay? So this one just came with, uh, uh, with uh, this uh, pre-install app application, that's it. And over here, the 92 has the ability to have flash apps so you can uh, uh, sideload applications on here. You cannot do it over here, so that's a good thing. Okay, let's see. Let me. Okay. So I was a little concerned. I thought this one had uh, lines because be careful with these calculators. When the screen goes bad, then uh, that's it. You are out of luck. You can never really uh, get them back. Like 90, 90, 90 to ninety-five percent of the time, when the screen goes bad, then you, you are out of luck. Okay. So, number one difference, the unit. Number two, the flash app. The flash app was the biggest uh, uh, upgrade from the 92, really. And since this one did not really have any flash memory, you were not able to uh, upgrade the, the OS. So whatever operating system you get with this one, that's the one you are going to be stuck with for the rest of the life of this calculator, okay? And they all had a different operating system version one way to check it or the only way really i know uh to check the operating system on this one was to press the f5 key when you are uh in home then diamond key and uh the open parenthesis sign and it will show you the software version this one is version 1.8 and uh it is from uh, 1996 as you can see here you can do that here as well or you could go just uh you could do f1 go at the very bottom and uh about press enter and uh yeah it will show you the hardware version and the software version software version is at uh, 2.05 the hardware version here is version 2 i believe this one had uh, two revisions uh, two uh, uh, hardware revision or two hardware version version 1 and version 2 version 2 is the one you want because version 2 had the ability to have the clock feature you know clock on the calculator is not really that important but you know i would rather have it you know than, uh, than not, not having it so yeah that is that and this one also has a uh, uh, this one also uh, let's see okay so this one is running on the uh, software version 2.5 so it has a uh, one last firmware update in 2003 that's the one you want this one was updated in 2000 so this one is now running on the latest uh, hardware I mean software version so there is one that came up after this one 2.5 i mean uh 2.05 is is on here but uh you the 2.09 is the one you want because 2.09 is uh is the one that has the clock feature you know let's see okay so now that we had that out of the way uh let's see what else uh, go to home and one thing that I, that I find a little odd is that you don't have a, a dedicated home button, which is something you have on both the 89, you know, the hand, the handheld version, the packet version, and uh, the 89 titanium. But this one, this or the Voyage, don't have a, a dedicated home button, which is which I find uh, slightly odd. Okay, so next, the memory and uh, RAM. That was a really big thing. So, like I said before, this one didn't have any flash memory, uh, and the RAM I can't quite remember the RAM, but it, I believe it was around like 600 megabyte. Let's I mean 600 mega kilobyte, not mega. Okay, let's check uh, the memory here. Okay, so the memory is the memory is about 70, 70 kilobytes, okay? Not too terrible. And this one has over one megabyte of uh, RAM, so 1.46, okay? Actually, I think that came out wrong. I believe this one has about one megabyte or no, 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 like 120 kilobyte memory. Where it says system, I believe that's the RAM being used by the system at this moment. I'm not, yeah, I think that's the case. So the system is using uh, 115,712. 
right, right now the flash app the application installed on here are taking uh, 366 roughly 366 kilobyte and uh, the free amount of RAM we have is uh, 354 okay so if I I'm just gonna go ahead and do a factory a factory install here I don't really before I do that let me just see what kind of app is on here okay there really is not much uh, I just want to change the mod really quick okay so I cannot unfortunately cannot have the desktop app uh, until I update the operating system okay so that's something you can do here you can have a uh, like a uh, the graphical the graphical user interface uh, you are used to on the TI-89 titanium you can do that you can have that same interface here where it will take you to a different page where you would have your app you know your app your all your apps lay, laid out instead of having this uh, drop down menu you would have uh, you know icons and stuff okay and when it comes to graphing this one is uh, going to be slightly faster Okay, let me go to the graph window and pause the video and just uh, input some graphs quickly. I already have some graphs here, so I'm just going to go and do the same thing over here. Okay, I uh, wrote my, equa my equations here, so I'm going to go and graph. So as you can see, the, the plus is much faster. You know, it's about two, two times faster, you know, in, in certain, uh, certain graphs. But when it comes to the features, they have, for the most part, they have essentially the same features when it comes to the graphing. Okay, so you're really not going to miss a lot. Uh, this one is still a great calculator when it comes to graphing. But when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, certain functions, uh, it really doesn't have a lot of functions uh, compared to the 92 Plus because 92 Plus had a lot of functions, like a lot. All it had are most strict functions, if not all of them. Okay, but the display is going to be the biggest the biggest advantage of this if you really ask me if this one had the same uh, 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 kind of display here I probably I would be 100% happy with the 92 because it was really uh, it was a great calculator when it came out in 1990, 90, 1995 okay so yeah uh, let's see I talked about something earlier that I forgot okay yeah the function so the 92 had uh, some tree functions, but not all of them, such as uh, cotangent. It didn't have cotangent. Well, you could have programmed cotangent in it. That's something I did, but you know, what's really the point of doing that? Eh, it's nice to do it, but you know, I'd rather, the ca I'd rather have it like in stock than having to do it. So if we put cotangent of the X here, enter, and we do the same thing here, cotangent of x enter if we try to grab this okay so <laughs> uh let's see i believe this still has something to do with the uh, software revision 2 not yeah i mean software version 2.09 so that's probably why it's not giving me that uh we can check that really quick. Uh, nothing to be worried about, though. I'm pretty sure 100% that the... Okay, so yeah, that's, that, that, that's what it is. So if I go to catalog... If I go to catalog here and I press C, then I don't have any cotangent function or secant. So yeah, that's, that's definitely why. So I just need to up, uh, upgrade my software. And I'll be able to have the cotangent, uh, cotangent, secant, all the functions here, cotangent, secant, secant, you know, all the good stuff, okay? So, yeah, it's just uh, the software version. But beside that, yeah, so once I upgrade this uh, to the latest firmware, I'm going to have pretty much all the features, almost all the features the Voyage and the 89 Titanium have, okay? You know, I really, there really isn't anything I can do on the 89 Titanium that I couldn't do here. You know, at least the stuff I used uh, this calculator for. Uh, it is worth mentioning that uh, I think this one is only missing one feature when it comes to the calculus. Uh, let's see. Let, let me check my phone really quick. I've had this phone for like, uh, 
this is not my main phone. This is just uh, I used I used to have this for my dash cam. Where's the calculator? Okay. Yeah. So it's missing uh, the uh, implicit differentiation differential uh, function here. Uh, it's stop uh, uh, dissolve here. It stops at dissolve. That's the function he has, and this one has dissolve and uh, the implicit differentiation uh, function as well. So yeah, that is that. Even if we upgrade this to firmware 2.09, it's still not going to have that. On top of that, it also doesn't have the root function. You know, if you put a uh, root. Mm, let's see. It's just gonna return what it has here. And uh, if we do the same thing on the plus, I have the plus here as well. So this is the plus, this is the exact replica of this calculator. But this one is, um, over here, this one is running on the latest firmware. I can show you that really quick. As you can see, this is the one I want, 2.09, and mine is 2.05, I want to check. And uh, yeah, so if I go to, uh, I just put cotangent. Not, let, let me not do that, let me just do a secant, uh, secant of x. And that's one over uh, cosine of x. If I do that here, then it just return uh, secant. That's because again, it is it is now running on the latest uh, firmware. So yeah, so I'm gonna have to do that uh, in a different video, or I'm just gonna do that in the background and uh, just do, do a different video about it, talking about some of the features. Okay. Well, yeah, there's that. So this is a quick overview. I didn't want this video to be super long, but uh, I managed to get a. Uh, 20 minutes still it is what it is you know my videos are not scripted they probably never will be and that is that if you have any questions about this calculator just make sure you put it in the comment section and i'll do my best to uh to answer okay